welcome to java forum now we are going to see how to share the folders on windows host machine to red dot enterprise linux 9 virtual machine running on virtual box 6.1.36 so uh, go to settings so here you can see the shared folders on left side menu uh, click the add button so i am going to add this uh, uh, python examples directory which is in d colon so i am going to select that uh, directory d, uh, d colon slash uh, python examples okay now uh, specify the mount point and it will be auto mount so check the box auto mount so that it will auto mount directly no need to run any commands so mount point i am giving a slash python examples click the ok button now uh, start the red dot enterprise linux 9.0 virtual machine so make sure that you have installed the uh, guest edition software in red dot enterprise linux 9 then only you can enjoy the full features of uh, virtual box okay now i open the terminal uh, df and kh will list out the directories so I, I can able to see that slash python examples is mounted okay okay so it's showing permission denied as an ordinary user so i am logging as a root user now i am going to browse the python examples directory yes so i can able to uh, see the content of uh, python examples now let me execute some uh, python script so this is the python script i am going to execute the script so i can able to view the content yes i can able to execute the python script which shows that i can able to read and execute the uh, contents inside the directory uh, which i have mounted okay now let me try to access the directory in uh, guy so it's asking for authentication yes i can able to view the content of the directory in guy mode so you can access the shared folders in guy mode also so now uh, what i am going to do i am try i am going to copy paste some content to uh, mounted directory uh, to check whether i can able to write some content to that directory so i have copied some rpm files so let me check in local host i am coming to windows host now so under python 3 yes so here's the content so i can able to read write and execute in shared folders as a root user so make sure that you have enough permission to access the shared folders.